All right, y'all, about to leave camp. It rained last night. There's not much of a view. Um, but it's all clouds. Um, don't know how far we're going today. Depends on how we're feeling. It's about nine o'clock. So, bye-bye fire pit. Bye-bye view. There's a part of today called the knife's edge. So it should be a lot of fun, a whole bunch of rocks. Um, but it's Saturday, so we'll see how many people are out on the trail today. All right, now this is Pennsylvania at its finest. This is great. We had a couple smooth, uh, smooth parts on the trail, and uh, back, back to rocks. Um, we. <laughs> Rapunzel and I were talking about the states that we disliked the most or thought that were, you know, the, the toughest. I shouldn't say dislike, but the toughest states. And um, I concluded that my top four so far have been Maine as number one, New Hampshire as number two, Pennsylvania as number three, and uh, Connecticut is number four. Because, um, well, of course, Maine being the toughest and New Hampshire following right behind because of just how big the mountains were and how rocky everything was. Pennsylvania is just flat out ridiculously rocky. Uh, it's crazy. It's like you, you start walking, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm going at a, a decent speed. And then all of a sudden it's like that. And, and all that, that you have to walk over, and your feet are going all these different directions. You're trying to figure out whether you want to step on top of the rocks or around them, which is really hard to do. And of course, when the rocks are slippery, your feet are sliding. It's, it's great. It's awesome. Um, but Connecticut being number four in that, I don't know why, but that state was like mentally the hardest state that we've gone through, for me at least. Um, Connecticut, I don't know why, but I uh, got stuck there in Kent for like three days and just didn't move. Um, and then had to go home and then return to just south of Kent and hike into New York. So anyway, those are my top four so far. Um, Vermont, I know I didn't video at all in Vermont because my phone was full of storage space. Um, it, it didn't, uh, I couldn't video because I ran out of space or whatever. But, um, Vermont was, uh, the trail was flat and not a whole lot of rocks and, um, decent views. So it wasn't bad. Massachusetts, kind of the same thing. Um, uh, New York and New Jersey, eh, I'm lumping those together. They weren't that bad. Um, New York was a little bit more difficult than New Jersey. But what made New York awesome was all the delis. But anyway, Pennsylvania stinks right now. Um, no water, having a camel. Um, of course it rained and there's still no water. So anyway, I will leave y'all with that. Almost to the shelter, the bake oven knob shelter. And I'm going to take a snack break there and continue up bake oven knob mountain and can go down the other side i will see y'all later well pennsylvania um has been interesting so far look at look at all of this we have to go that way we're on bake oven knob mountain 
blaze this way. Got some slanted rock. Gotta go up there somewhere. Um, I'm glad this rock is not wet because someone would be busting their behind on it. That's someone being me. Um, got another marker right up on this trail or on this tree. It's been a rock scramble, kind of fun, kind of everywhere. But uh, has been pretty, pretty interesting. Got a, got some, got some pretty nice views ahead of us though, on on the top. Um, just gotta get there. But yeah, rock scramble, man, it is hot. I am, I've been dripping all day. It's like 80 degrees. Up here, I don't even want to know what it's like in the valley, but it's like 80 degrees up here and 60 something percent humidity. And uh, in the in the sweat just won't evaporate off of you. Oh, but gonna get up to the top sometime. I don't know where, but we're gonna get there. Got about another 80 feet up, but I'll show you that when I get there. All right, y'all, so uh, this is what they call knife's edge um, on gut hooks, but we had to come up that and um, they didn't say how long of a trail it went through here, but they did say that there was a lot of rock hopping um, involved. So there you are. Um, I don't know how long it is again, but um, they said there you're supposed to have some pretty awesome views. So. Here's some of the views. There's the trail right there. Look at that sky. That is awesome. With a knife's edge. Not as good as the first knife's edge. Uh, that one was crazy. Actually, I'm supposed to be on the other side of this rock. Um. How do I get down? Uh, should be interesting to go over that branch. And oh, lost my hat. Thank you, tree, for giving it back. You know, we uh, encountered some uh, what I thought were timber rattlesnakes back in New Jersey. I'm just retracing. I'm not that big of a um, like purist on the trail. I gotta cover every inch, but I'm not that type of person. But um, back in New Jersey, we found some um, uh, timber rattlesnakes is what I thought they were. And later we found out that they are not timber rattlesnakes. They were copperheads. And there were three of them. And I sat down right next to them. And so from now on, when we're hiking along rocky areas like this, we're always like freaking out about, oh my gosh, what if there's a copperhead? What if there's a rattlesnake in one of these cracks? Well, very much could be um, sunbathing on one of these rocks as we walk past that would be kind of interesting to get on on video but um there has been oh man there was a, a rat snake yesterday that i wanted to video as well and he ended up uh crawling off before i could get my phone out and video 
but this is pretty interesting how how this uh, cliff just is nothing but rocks all the way down to those trees but PA is beautiful got some birds some hawks up there I don't know if you can see those but uh, the second hawk watching group we've stumbled upon was up on um, Bake Oven Knob Mountain and they were pretty awesome to talk to but I might have to put the camera up soon uh, maybe in a little bit I've been doing pretty good without uh, without having my other trekking pole in my hand but yeah now this is like my favorite part of the trail is rock hopping like this over rock scrambles just like that that is my my favorite part and I love doing it I don't know why but New Hampshire and Maine if there was always like a a rock scramble or something like this I was cruising through it just hopping along the rocks but you gotta slow down now and just look at that that view and all these these rocks slanted sideways man I'd hate for one of those things to slip loose seriously that would that would really ruin a day and uh, one other thing, you know, they, they paint that, you know, that blaze on the rock, meaning one of two things I think about. Um, they, they did it there just so that you could, like, see it, and you're supposed to, like, go that way around it. Or they painted it there because you had to go over it. And I have been questioning that for quite some time. <laughs> So, I'm just going to go over it. Oh, there's another blaze right there. So, yes, you had to go over it. Um, sometimes they don't do that, though. Sometimes they just put the blaze there, and you're like, well, do I need to go over or beside it or something? But anyway. Oh, yeah? Anyway, I will let y'all go. And I will hike 